Okay. So as I was saying, it's as soon as I turn the power on, it's fired up. The lights come on on the front of the unit. We'll just focus on the screen here and just go through this. English. Melbourne, so what do you know? I'll take Melbourne. US keyboard. Yeah, none of this will matter too much because I'll probably change it to something else later, but we'll just run with this for now. It's just finishing off the rest of its OEM install, whatever they do. And I think we've got sound, but I haven't heard anything yet. That's obviously got a little bit of stuff to do there. The, the power connector for Australia is kind of a generic two pin setup on the end of the actual little DC adapter. And you have to put these little adapters on there. Just a little thing like that. Just snaps on, and there were two inside the box, inside the mid box mini um, box that the actual unit's packaged in. There was also the one for Australia was in the bottom of the the um, transportation packaging box, in amongst the um, foam bubble wrap stuff and so on. So. I'll just be a little bit careful there if you don't throw it out too quick or you put it in the rubbish. Now it's come with a few other little cables here, some of them I don't even know what they are. But I had a keyboard and mouse laying around, I'll eventually get around to putting a, a wireless keyboard and mouse on there if they work. But that's for later on today or another day. This time I just want to see what it does. Have a little play and see what we get. There we go. Up at the desktop. And looks like we've got connectivity already because it's DHCP enabled and the welcome screen etc etc just all the usual stuff if you're used to using Linux Mint. Uh, this is on 17.1 so it'll probably, there it is, it's going to start updating itself down here on the right hand side. through the process. 
I got um, broadband yesterday, so I'm good to go. And that's currently the Wi-Fi antenna, which is USB, a nifty little thing. It's plugged into the back, but I've got the Ethernet cable in there also, so I'm assuming that's going through Ethernet there, because I'm not that familiar with um, wireless and actually the wireless is turned off so it's definitely going through um, through the ethernet cable so I'll just let it run through this update I presume it's going to want to update to 17.2 which just come out recently uh, actually now I think you have to do that in the settings up here don't you in there. No, that's not where it is. I don't know, it's in there somewhere. That'll do. Anyway, that's that's the boot. I might do another cold boot and um, we'll just see. I'll start the camera at the um, I'm going to start the machine and we'll see see how it goes. <laughs> 